Afghan officials say the leader of the Islamic State group in Afghanistan has been killed in an airstrike. It took place in the eastern province of Nangarhar province. Our South Asia regional editor Amber Asad Eti Rajan has been following developments. This airstrike was carried out uh, overnight in Nangaha province and they killed Abu Saad Erhabi, is considered to be the leader of the IS group in Afghanistan, and 10 other militants. A large amount of ammunition and weapons were also destroyed in this attack. It is significant because IS is gaining ground in Afghanistan. They are uh, very strong in Nangaha province. They were started only in 2014, but they managed to get a lot of breakaway factions of Taliban and other militant groups in their ranks. More than attacking Afghan and international forces, they have the ability to carry out attacks on civilian targets. You know, they're attacking minority groups. And also a few days ago, they carried out a major attack in Jalalabad city. So the government is struggling to tackle how to deal with these attacks. And now the Afghan officials are saying they killed the leader. He's the fourth leader from the IS to be killed in Afghanistan. I spoke to the US forces in Afghanistan a short while ago, and they've confirmed uh, they carried out an airstrike in the same area in what they described as they killed a senior leader of a terrorist organization. This has come as a big boost for Afghan forces. They have been having reverses for the last few months. There have been a number of attacks by Taliban and IS militants. Uh, Taliban group almost stormed the city of Ghazni a few weeks ago, and hundreds of people were killed. The government was under intense pressure. Now, the killing, the news about the killing of the IS leader will come as a boost to the government. In fact, the government has been under severe criticism uh, for failing to tackle these attacks, both on the military and on civilian targets. Now, this news will be welcomed by the Afghan government.